What up, YouTube? So we are going to rebuild, refix, refinish, and make our playground new again. It's an old rainbow. Um, I called rainbow for some replacement parts and some things, and they wanted to charge me a million dollars. And I just said, no, I'm gonna do it myself. Some of the things that need to be replaced, you can see this plastic is all chewed up on the rails. Tire swing in these chains are actually okay. Um, and the wood is structurally great. Uh, it, it really is in good shape. It, it's not, I mean, it's nice and solid. The ropes are all just falling apart, coming apart. We're actually missing some, some holds here, uh, but we're gonna take these off, maybe repaint them. So that's the project. We're expecting it's gonna take a couple of days. Um, but who knows, maybe not. All right, so we have stripped the uh, swing set or the playground of just about everything it needs. All of, the, all of the hardware I've put down here, called Rainbow to ask for some help on this and they really kind of snubbed me. I called two different stores and they were like, yeah, you know, there's no way to do that. We gotta have a representative come out and, and blah, blah, it was ridiculous. They wanted to charge me $100 for each one of those big, long, six foot, five foot rails. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna refinish them myself then. Okay, day two of working on this uh, project. I took the slide off, as you can see. Um, I did take all of the hardware off um, from the swings. And then I went around and I tightened up all the, the bolts. My wife did want me to say something nice about Rainbow. We don't know how long this has been here. We've been here for um, four years, four and, a, four and a half years. It's pretty surprising that it's in as good a shape as it is. So kudos, Rainbow. I'm gonna leave these on. They're bright yellow, but I'm just gonna paint over them. I don't care. And the bolts all along there and stuff, I really don't care if they get painted. So they're gonna get painted. You can see that I masked off the, the rungs that were bright yellow. I've tried to pull away as much of the dirt, as you can see, or the, the play chips from the bottom of the wood so that we can spray you know, as far down as we possibly can. And uh, the wood here is, is more weathered than anything else. So I may sand up a little bit of that, but for the most part, it's in pretty good shape. Then we're gonna reassemble the whole thing and see how it looks. So we haven't done any work on the uh, playground because it's been raining. More rain, more rain, more rain, and more rain. And yet again, more rain. So if the rain ever stops, I'll get back to it and get it painted. So we started this project on May 11th. It is now June 12th. It dried out and I last night said I didn't have time to film anything, but what I did was uh, grab the paint gun and I just went to town on it. This is just the first coat. So um, it's an outdoor paint and it's totally dry. I did it last night, sorry my voice is shot. It took uh, two gallons just to do the first coat. Uh, there's there are a bunch of spots that I missed Mainly because I was trying to go as fast as I could and I was trying to be sparing on the paint So I was a little shocked at how much paint it was actually using first coat done I'm, I'm actually very happy It's the worst DIY video ever anyway There we are. I know you didn't get any footage of me actually painting it. It just you remember what it used to look like and it is just Amazing, I've been over it now with kind of two and a half coats. So this whole thing right here took me four gallons of paint to get the whole thing done. Anyway, you can also see it's about to storm again. This is unbelievable weather we've been having. I just redid this 10 minutes ago and it's dry to the touch. Um, so anyway, the next step is gonna be um, Avoiding more rain, worst DIY ever, because <laughs> I didn't show you any of the painting. But when you do the painting, I just do long strokes like this back and forth. And then uh, 
And then when I went back um, to touch up the first coat, I just kind of spot did where I could find where the coat hadn't taken. And then the second time around, uh, here goes the sun, yeah, here come the clouds. But the second time around, I, um, I did the full thing front to back. And then now I've just finished touching up a bunch and then redoing the little slats for the rope ladder thing. But other than that, there you go. Worst DIY ever. So we put the slide back on, as you can see. Um, there was a problem in doing the slide and that is these carriage bolts. You see these carriage bolts are smooth on this side. There's no way to grab them or anything. They're designed so they have a square right underneath the pan head. And that square is to bite into the wood um, so the bolt doesn't turn. Well, the smaller ones, the original ones that we had for it, uh, just were not going back in. I had to take an angle grinder and actually cut holes in them like this to get them off. Now these actually sat down in there. These are the old ones, you can see the differences. I didn't have any cover bolts, these, these rounded cover bolts um, for the half one, so I just used nylon. And so if you're taking your slide off and it uses the carriage bolts just like this, just know that, especially if your playground is older, that the, um, that the wood is probably not gonna grab those old carriage bolts again, so you're just gonna replace them. They just <clears throat> sucked right in, so it was just great. It, uh, it looks pretty good and it's coming together. We're just trying to find out what we're gonna do with all of the handrails. That's a problem. That's the handrails. Those are the big, long handrails. And maybe you can't really see it, but they're, they're all worn and old and they just look like crap. It rained again last night, so more rain. Never seen more rain in Utah than I've ever seen in the past month. Guess what it did again last night? It rained. Today we're gonna put all the hardware back on and hopefully get some of these uh, extra pieces repainted so that they look good. I thought maybe this one would be like super strong. This is actually stri striping paint for the street, but it's Rust-Oleum Professional inverted striping paint. So we're gonna try that and see how they turn out. We put all the hardware back on. Already got that swing up and running. Kids are swinging. Tire swing back up underneath there. This was one of the more frustrating parts of trying to figure out how to get this done because we had to figure out the length of the ropes because the last ropes we just cut off. Um, each knot was about eight inches. So we had to add different, uh, we had to add eight inches for every um, plank that we're tying into this. What are you doing, Oakley? Weird dog. It's a weird dog. So now we're just gonna paint these. I wasn't going to, but they, they really do look ratty. That's what it used to look like. That's what these do look like. I just think it looks better uh, just having these with a new coat. And I'm just, I'm putting a super light coat on them first and I'll come back and and uh, clean them up later, but I just want them to, to dry. And you know, cause the weather in Utah is so amazing. We just put them in. I did not put them back in the same location they were in previously. I put them back in uh, different locations. I don't know if I also showed you that we hooked the rope up and we did the rope ladder again with all new rope. And so the rope's all there, and then we added the canopy. Instead of just putting it back on with snaps, which is what it had, I actually put a uh, grommet and then attached it with a screw and a washer. So it's not coming off. Because the kids, when it was a snap, the kids used to snap it off all the time. I don't, I don't know why they're kids. Hey, look at this, it snaps. Let's take it off. No, just leave it. Ta-da! It's the end of June. We are done. Done, done, and done. We did get some new swings uh, because the old swings were just terrible and after doing all this work, it just, so we ordered a couple of new swings. Uh, we did all, also order a new trapeze. Um, so the, let's see if I can do this without looking at it. So yeah, the trapeze is, is new. We put a telescope up there, which the other telescope had broken and died. Uh, but the rest of it is all original. 
The tarp we've had ever since we moved in, but it's never been up and we pinned that. Um, so that's good. We replaced all of the rope on the climbing. It's hard to do in reverse, but we, we uh, replaced the rope. We uh, used the same, the same boards and then just tied the rope all the way down through. Put a new rope on the backside. Repainted the handles. Handles look great now that they're repainted. Um, and they're nice on there and solid, but the rest of the thing looks amazing. We did replace the wheel. Um, I put a new wheel on there. All in all, we spent, I think, about $100 replacing all of the swings and the rope and, the, and everything else. And so, not too bad. Well, it's about $150, I think. Um, but yeah, we kept the original, the big original swing, but the rest of it looks pretty good. I'm excited how it turned out. We decided to put new play chips down too. We got them at Replenish Landscape Garden Products. They did not pay me to say this. Uh, I think their play chips are amazing because these play chips right here are actually a specific blend and the way that the wood has been crushed, you're not gonna get splinters or anything else like that. And it's better than gravel and I dig it. And no kids playing on the playground. What a shocker. Oh, and it's about to rain. <laughs>